today, this bright, sunny day. Today, we are going to teach you how to do sugar scrubs or bath bombs. So, we are going to get started now to show you how to do a sugar scrub. To start, I brought a measuring cup and we use a half a cup of white sugar and a quarter of a cup of olive oil. You could use any type of oil you would like, but I have picked to use olive oil. And then I will put a teaspoon of vitamin E in this. And then I am going to put a few drops of essential oil in, which will not be in the kit because I don't know what everybody would like. I'm just going to put a couple drops of lavender in. And then, uh, let's see, one, two. Then I will stir it all together as such. This is really a good thing to give your skin a soft feeling. And when they, you, I give you the instructions, it will also tell you all you need when you take a shower is maybe just a couple of tablespoons. And you can put it on your skin and wash it off and your skin will feel very soft and refreshed. So, and then when you're done stirring it, you will pour it in a small mason jar such as this, which has a sealable lid. So then I will pour this in as such. Just like that, which I forgot to bring a spatula with me today to make sure I got all the ingredients out. So I will put it like that and set this aside. And then you will put the lid on it like such because it's a good sealing lid. And after you let it set a while, sometimes you get the oil to come to the top. And all you need to do then is take the lid off and stir it, and while whatever amount you want to use while you're taking a shower, just go ahead and take a little bit out and rub it on your arms, arms, or maybe even on your legs. So I hope you will enjoy this video, and you will come in and pick up the ingredients that you need to make a sugar scrub. And next, we will teach you how to do a bath bomb. Everybody, now I am going to show you how to make bath bombs. What you need first is a cup of baking soda, a half a cup of cornstarch, and a half a cup of Epsom salt, and four tablespoons of cream of tartar. Now what we will do is mix this all together. Sometimes it's easier to kind of whisk it together, but because Connie kind of forgot her whisk today when I was going to do this, so I'm just going to stir it all together like such. And now, oh, and I forgot to tell you when I did the Epsom salt, I used the lavender scented, so that will give you a good lavender smell. Okay, now we need Four, two tablespoons of olive oil. You like just like the other one. You can use whichever one you would like to use. Olive oil, cotton oil, whichever you prefer. And I will stir this all together. Kind of could be a little messy at times and get it on the table, but that's okay. We can clean it up later. Because this is something that everyone can do, adults or teens. I would say even if you had small kids, they could help, but they'd probably really make a mess. So now I am going to use um, maybe 
couple of tablespoons of water. Now, when you add the water, you need to add it in very slowly. Do not add it in quickly because it will activate the baking soda, and we don't want to activate the baking soda. So we'll put those in and stir it, and then maybe put another tablespoon, and probably two or three tablespoons of water. And it should become very crumbly. So now I will use another tablespoon of water, like this. And like I said, we will put it in very slowly. So we don't at slowly activate that baking soda, which is not what we want to do. Because it will start bubbling and everything else. So let me see if I think I need to add a little more water. Maybe just a little bit more. And now it should be very crumbly. And what I will do is I will slowly start packing it into the eggshell. That way you have half an egg. Because you can't put it together, because when you try to put it together, it just falls apart. So you take a little bit at a time and you put it in there and you make sure you pack it down really hard. I use my fingers. Sometimes I think that's the easier way. I, otherwise, you could use a small spoon, which like I have here. But I seem to like to use my finger. I feel like I'm packing it in harder. So and what you got to do is put some more in the eggshell, and we will continue to pack it in. And once you get this packed in, oh, and I forgot to tell you, you could put a drop of gel color, which works very well which I forgot to put in. So, I will pack this in on this side. You put a couple drops of the red, or if you want blue, you know, we used a little bit of red just to make it look good. Gave it some color. And what you do is you pack it in really tight like this in the eggshell. Or like I said, you could use your cupcake pan and put a cupcake liner in it and do the same thing if you would like. And you would have the same thing. But the only thing is you need to leave this set for 24 hours so it gets hard in, in whatever you decided to make it in. So there we go. Got it all packed in and you set it aside. Oh, I'll put a little bit more in on this side. And we'll pack it in, and there you go. So then when you're all done and you've left it set for 24 hours, what you will have is two halves of an egg, bigger eggshell or a smaller one. And then when you get ready to take a bath, I will put a little drop in, and you can watch what it does. It's starting to bubble, so it will give you a refreshing bath. Hope you've all enjoyed our demonstration on how to make sugar scrubs and bath bombs. All the ingredients will be ready for you on Wednesday, July 22nd, here at the library. So we hope we see you soon, and this is available for all teens and adults. Have a great day, and enjoy your summer! Bye!